His training method focused on developing a strong body and powerful technique. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Multiple Chalky, maybe one of the more controversial karate masters, was so much more than the brute illiterate ape that some might have called him. What do you think is most important in karate? A great physique? Or a thorough understanding of your techniques? Let me tell you about Motobu's take on training by telling you about two of his most important teachers, namely Bushi Matsumura and Ito Suanko. You see, there's an important reason why there seem to be so much variation in styles within our martial art. There have been many different personalities through which it has been handed down over the generations, creating some wildly different takes on what is essentially the same system for self-defense. Bushi Matsumura is one such personality that really left a mark on what karate would ultimately become. He was considered a powerful warrior, or Chikara Bushi, and he was known for both having an extremely well-conditioned physique and the ability to always outthink his opponent by reading their body language. Motobu had this to say about him. I myself trained under the master for a while, and during that time was always impressed by his understanding and application of kata. Matsumura clearly understood the distribution of strength and how kata was applied. Having followed these principles up to now, I believe that his theories were absolutely correct. Even if a person is stronger than his opponent and has a well-conditioned physique, if he has not mastered his technical skills, his martial arts will never be effective in an emergency situation. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, then punching that like button would be just in time. Itosu, on the other hand, needs no introduction. He was actually known for his near inhuman strength. He taught both Motobu Choki and his older brother Choyu. Itosu himself had also been taught by Matsumura, but he was not an easy student. He wouldn't learn easily and Matsumura grew tired of him. Because of this, Itosu left the bushi and went to learn under Nagahama Sensei. Now, Nagahama was very passionate about his karate and often trained in his yard from early morning until sunset. His training method focused on developing a strong body and powerful technique. However, he became terminally ill, relatively young, and in the final moments of his life, Nagahama called Itosu to his side and told him he believed he'd been training with too much power. He said, only now, in my final hour, do I understand that I have not focused on practical issues in my karate, nor has it cultivated pliability or speed. Therefore, may I encourage you to continue on with Matsumura Sensei. Now, whether this led Itosu back to Matsumura will be a story for a different day. But the important thing to take away from this story is the following. If you understand the theory of the principles of Kata and train them thoroughly, your muscles will develop naturally together with your technique. So all in all, at least according to Motobu, technique and physique are of equal importance in Kata. Of course, that is not just his opinion. I agree with that statement and I'm sure it also did too. You see, he spent much of his time developing kata that were easier to teach in physical education programs. Click right here to learn more about that. Let me wish you a wonderful day, and as always, thanks for watching. When Chuck Norris does a push-up, he isn't lifting himself up, he's pushing the earth down.